Hi guys, my name is KJ Miller. I'm the co-founder and CEO of Minted Cosmetics and I recently became a new mom. And so for this Mother's Day, I thought it'd be nice to just share with you how I'm updating my makeup routine now that I'm living this new mom life. So let's get into it. First and foremost, let me just say and be real, I'm not wearing makeup every single day. I don't know any new moms who are wearing makeup every single day and I'm not trying to perpetuate that, you know, myth. I am wearing makeup as needed, um, but also I love makeup, obviously. It's my bread and butter, but also just something I've, I've always loved. So I am wearing it not only as needed because I'm still doing video calls um, and I'm still going out from time to time, but also when I just feel like, you know, I want something to make me feel a little bit more special, something that's just about me. And it can be easy as moms to forget that. So this is an updated routine because I don't have time to do my full routine. I mean, I love makeup. My full routine has a lot of stuff. Uh, but my paired back routine has, I think, about five. Um, so let's get into it. Now, before we do anything, I'm going to put on my Balms Away. So no matter what, till the day I die, I'm always going to do a brow, honey. I had my brows on while I was at the hospital in labor. So that should tell you something about me. Um, and a lot of you probably know my trick. The trick to a great brow is a dry brow so i grab whatever i've got toilet paper paper towel um there's a cotton round and make sure that area is really dry before i go in with my brow down brow pencil so as you guys know when i do my brows i outline first i think i've still got a little bit of my pregnancy glow going on don't tell me otherwise. Um, and so that means I don't need as much foundation or concealer. So instead of like the three stripes I would typically do, I'm just doing two on each cheek. And you just have to trust me when I say this is less than I typically do. That was shade M40. This is shade T30. I come in and do, again, for me, a little bit less. Then I take my foundation brush, which I know you all love. I start with the concealer bits. Okay, just blend those. All right, so I've got on my foundation and concealer. Now I'm just gonna apply our setting powder, our Skin Silk setting powder in medium deep. And um, again, just a super light layer. I still want that glow to come through. So I'm not trying to fully mattify here. I dip it in, I shake it off, I dust it on, and then I circle it around. Okay, so I said at the beginning, I think this is about five steps. I think it's actually six, right? So I did my brows, I did foundation and concealer, which I consider one step. Um, and I just did powder and we've got three steps left bronzer, highlighter, gloss. That's it. So six steps total, um, which for some people might seem like a lot for a new mom. For me, it's about five steps less than I usually do. So it is paired back. I um, mean, you just have to find your happy medium. So next up is bronzer. I love Yacht Life. And what I love about bronzer is it's just so multi-use, multi-functional. So I'm gonna pick up a bunch here. And my bronzer routine hasn't changed much. I'm still going in right here, sort of at the bottom of my cheekbone slash right in between. Now I'm gonna do my eyes. I take a big old fluffy brush. I pick up a lot of product and then I just swipe that all over. I just think bronzer is such a great eyeshadow. Whatever your bronzer color is, I promise you it'll look good. Okay, so before we highlight, let's just talk about the steps I didn't do so you guys can get an understanding of how I personally am pairing back. Um, so first and foremost with bronzer, I usually also do a nose contour. Um, get my nose a little snatched. Who has time? Okay, so I threw that step out the window. I just did a quick perimeter. 
of the face with the bronzer. Um, secondly, for eyeshadows, I don't typically just do bronzer on my lid. I usually do an eyeshadow look, either with our everyday palette or our every night palette, usually somewhere between two to three, sometimes four shades. Who has time? Nobody. I'm a mom, I have a newborn. <laughs> so that's why I'm just swatching on the bronzer really quickly. Then for highlighter, I usually, I mean, I love this palette and I love every shade. So I'll usually be like, hmm, maybe this one for my cheeks today. And maybe I'll do this one for the bridge of my nose today. And maybe this one for my, you know, I'll like, I like to play. Um, but my paired back version is I just go with my favorite shade and put it anywhere I want a little glow. And my favorite shade is this bottom left. I love them all. They're all gorgeous, but I just feel like you can't go wrong with this bottom left shade here. And so that's gonna be what I put everywhere. And by everywhere, for me, that is my cheekbones right now and my inner corner. If I were doing more, I'd also do some here and I'd also do some here. And if I were feeling really fancy, I'd hit just above the brow. Just applying. I just love highlighter. I just feel like if ever there were a product that's gonna make you look and feel like a million bucks, that's it. So, that, and that's the whole point for me of still continuing to put on makeup even in this new fangled mommy world I'm living in. So no, I'm not skipping the highlighter, not me, not me. Okay, and then I'm gonna pick up that exact same shade and throw a little bit, throw a little bit of shade, that's fine. Throw a little bit in my inner corner and kind of dust it up. That's it, nothing hard, nothing crazy. All right, I threw in a little bit of liner and mascara and now it's time for the final step, gloss. This is our shade Coralition, which I think is great for spring. All right guys, that's it. This is my go-to makeup look. I hope you learned something. I hope you had a little fun along the way. And I just want to say happy Mother's Day to all of you moms, you deserve all of the love, all of the joy, and all of the beauty. Until next time.